Okay, so we have to get a C rank or better. Oh, oh sorry. I can't be again because I still don't... Uh, what, what do we do? We gotta get a C rank or... Oh, is it just me? Oh, I don't think you can play, like, multiple missions. Aww. Oh. So you're timed. Okay, no, this is fine. Because, uh, you know, I can talk and dominate the conversation. You know, make fun of you. It's really cute. <laughs> what do you mean it's really cute? Oh, you're cute. You're, you missed one. Here. Watch out for the pink laser. Oh, God, I didn't think I had to double jump there. It scared me. Hey, you always have to double jump. Yeah! Ah, nice. Did I get, I I got a, got a B. Sweet. Well done. So you have to get a C on all of them. Okay, so I, I would have gotten an A if I got below 20. 20 seconds? I have to get all of them? Yeah, to get a C on. I think you said you have to get... Uh, see uh, on all previous missions. Wow. Like, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose that's good. Like, it makes you, like, go through it better. True. And it makes the game longer, I suppose. So it's not really about accuracy. It's about speed. Yeah, you have to hit all of the... Shoot. Suck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this one, not so good. <laughs> this one looks hard. Oh, and shoot. There it is. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I'm getting this. I'm, I might be able to pull out a C on this. Maybe. Laser beam! You can also fire the laser beam at the ground and it will push you up. Will it? Yeah. Okay. You've got a C. Yeah, C? Okay. So, I'm not going to try and get any better than that. I mean, you definitely should. It's kind of like uh, Trials Files where you like should try to True. go. True. God, Trials Files is so addicting. I know. I know. You trying to hide from me? Dicky bitch? You little dicky bitch? Hi, you little dicky bitch. It was funny, now it's creepy. Oh! Oh, you died! Frick, frick on a stick. You have to kill it and then, um, yeah. then hit it, because if you hit it... And I think you have to shoot the one that's glowing. glowy. Glowy, yeah. yeah. There you go. 32. 32. So probably a C. No, oh, a B! Sweet! I think it's like different levels are going to have different criteria. Criteria. Because okay. Some of them definitely look like they're a little harder. Boom. This is a great game, and it's um, it's on Steam, and it, it's, it's on Steam. It's pretty cheap. It's only like ten bucks. Yeah, and the people who were who were running the booth were like super cool, and they were talking about some really cool stuff coming out. And you know, it's just. It's so cool to see like game designers and game developers coming up with really cool stuff. Like this is this is super fun, and you know this would be a great game like you know with kids. Um, yeah. Oh, so he can't fire in the pink zone. That's why he has to stand outside of it. Why he can't get any closer. Um, Oof. Yeah. So you have to go up to fire that one. There you go. Got it. And yeah. And so you know, I think this is if this is one of those games that like you know, I think oh. The There's a block box in a way that I did not think was actually part of the level. Oh, okay. 44. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. See. Poop. Yeah, see, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like... It just seemed high. But yeah, no, like, people who are just continuing making fun games like this... Yeah. This is, you know, it's really cool. For sure. It's kind of silly to see, like, the 8-bit style have such a... Oop. Such a revival. I love, I like it, though. I love the simplicity of it, but also, like, you know, the fun, like, art that you get with it. Um, music's pretty cool, the sounds are pretty cool, you know, everything, everything's just like, it's, you know, it's a super classy game, like, that's just really the best way to describe it, it's just really classy and, like, very well designed, and I very much enjoy it, and I probably sound like a pretentious douchebag talking about like that. We're totally not, like, paid to advertise this game, we no, legitimately, we, like <laughs> we just legitimately love this game, and I'm like, I'm buying it. Yeah. I mean, we got to play a lot of games at RTX. I think that was the coolest part of RTX. That was that the point, coolest part. Of like, you know, getting to go play all these games. Um, oh, shit. Who's, who's doing, like, um, Feist and Night in the Woods? Oh, what was that company oh, called? Oh, God. I forget their company is. And then they have, like, a zombie survival strategy game that's, like, a block-oriented. It's almost like... It's an axon exon exonometric, like, 2D... Yeah. Zombie survival game. It's, yeah. And it, and Turn based. Like, yeah, it's really good. That was, yeah, they were super fun. I forget. I had their cards somewhere. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, for sure. Um, Ooh, yeah. Those were some fun games. Uh, butt sniffing pugs. Butt sniffing pugs. <laughs> we're not even shitting you, butt sniffing pugs. So, butt sniffing pugs. It's a real thing, and it's, 
It's controlled by a giant tennis ball, and your job is just to be a pug in a park, and you sniff the butt of another pug to change your powers. And so you, you, have, like, you have two powers you can, at all times. Yeah, and you can, like, pee on the grass, or you can drag your butt, or you can, and, like, when, when you drag your butt, you grow flowers, and when you pee on the grass, you kill flowers. There's, like, an old lady. So you're just two pugs in a park, and that's just it. It's kind of sandboxy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty fun. Like, they said they wanted to, like, expand it and do more with it. Oh, you got... God damn these stupid fucking bubbles. Hey, you can't even shoot through them. Oh, come on. You have to get on top of the thing and then aim down. There, there we go. go. Yeah, no, um, about sniffing pugs. Uh, uh there was, was that the, Swedish game? What was the T-Rex one with the rocket shooters? Oh, um... Oh. T-Rex and rocket skates, I forget the name of it. Yeah, well, we have the cards. We have, like, tons of yeah, we have tons of cards. Um, I also have a bunch of footage that I need to put up. Yes, yes you do. Because I'm being chased by Pixel! Yeah, it follows you. Oof, got me. Um, yeah, no, that was really fun. You're a little T-Rex and you just zoom around a level. You have to collect certain things before you're able to reach the end of the level. Oh my goodness, Pixel is relentless. So that one was really fun. Do you uh, want to tell him about oh, the Swedish Switch game? Went, so the Switch went, first of all, yeah, my husband like wanders away to go look at uh, something else. And, I thought there was some kind of internet celebrity that I needed yeah, to pay attention so he, to. Yeah, so he wandered away and left me alone with all these creepy weirdos. But I'm standing there and there's this like game that's, you know, this guy's showing. It looks pretty cool and I was like attracted to the artwork on it. So I went over to go talk to him and he's telling me about it. So to, be fair, the, to be fair, the artwork was really cool. nice. Um, so, so basically what it is is like he's telling me about it. So it's like this 2D scroll screen kind of 8-bit style in like kind of a taupe and then um you know black and red are the main colors and anyways so what ends up happening is that like he's like oh this is like an ai and every time the ai hits an obstacle it learns how to overcome the obstacle so it falls in a pit and next time it revives it knows to go over that pit right so which would be like a really cool idea for yeah, a game really cool. and i was like okay cool so that's kind of like the setup of it and he's like yeah and the ai is on a mission um and it has to complete the mission at the top of the mountain in the back room of the game Right, and it's like, you know, whatever. And then I was, and then, you know, so he's got the controller in his hand and he's like, so we as the audience can only do like one thing for this game. And I was thinking like, oh, we're gonna put like obstacles in his way. We're gonna try to prevent it. Or maybe we're like, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be the, yeah, like the, like, the was, hindrance. Yeah, I was like, we're gonna like actually engage. And he's like, no, what you do instead is like, the only thing we can ask you to do is sacri is like kill itself and give up. <laughs> give up and, and start over. And start over. And the way, and this is where it gets super free. Oh my way, goodness! The way that we that we sacri we have to sacrifice something to ask to ask the AI to like die. And so I invented a controller that actually like pricks your thumb and takes blood from you. And I, at this point, I'm like, he's you're fucking with me. You're like, joking. You it's a total joke. With me. And he's like, yeah. And so basically, what happens is that you prick your thumb and you give it some blood, and the AI falls down and forgets everything it learns and start over. And I was just like. <laughs> like, I, really? I, I was like, I, I have nothing I can say Shoot. at this point for this guy because I'm just like, what? Like, and then he's, and then he like has the controller in his hand, and I'm like, oh god. And he's like, no, obviously they wouldn't let me bring it for like health concerns. I was like, yeah, health concerns, not because you're a psycho. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And he's, he's like, yeah. So instead, we just push A, and he gives up and dies. And I was like. And then, yeah, the little, the little pixelated dude just yeah, little pixelated dude kneels just, like, over and dies. Kneels over and dies, and the game starts over. And I was like, I... And I'm sitting there, I'm, like, waiting for him to be, like, punked. <laughs> Got <laughs> you. Just kidding. And I'm like... I mean, a very clever bit of program. Fast, like, the art was really cool. Like, everything about it was really cool, except for, like, the point of the game. And I feel really bad because, like, you know, God forbid my husband ever becomes, like, a famous YouTuber and that poor guy <laughs> watches this video and he's like... Me. But I'm just going to lay this out there, um, guy from Sweden, um, as someone with a medical condition who spends a significant period of time in, you know, in doctor's offices getting my blood drawn and that sort of thing. Uh, that should be creepy. That um, should be real I creepy, yo. you really need to go talk to someone. Um, and I'm pretty sure there are therapists who specialize in helping you and i think that's definitely something i just the, th the thing about this game that gets me is like it could have been so cool it could have been like this ai has to like learn and get through this obstacle but literally it's a game that you don't play and the only thing you can do is tell it to stop playing to stop playing the only the only part of this game you have any control over is whether or not the game gives up yeah 
it was like, the, I mean, definitely the programming in it sounds absolutely fascinating. Like the fact that the AI has to like overcome these obstacles and then learns from it and knows like how to, I know, I have watched it for a while. Like it was pretty cool, but you know, it's kind of just like, wow. Wow, you're weird. Like, you know, <laughs> any, you know what? Everybody's got their thing. That's, that's, I, I say that all the time. I have to get sick of me saying it. But, you know, it's like, I just don't, I don't really understand. It just felt more like an art project and less like a video game. Yeah, it's, it, it did, it did seem like a really pretentious art project. Yeah. Um, but more power to him and his, like, pretentious art project thing. You know, good for him. I hope it goes far. And he... Yeah, you know, I hope I hope somebody out there thinks that it's brilliant and loves it. Ha ha ha, I got blown up by a ninja star. You're a ninja star. I am. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's hard. Fuck. <laughs> Run through it, they go away. Yeah, that's true. It's, it is kind of yeah, nice. Boop. Shit. <laughs> right into it. Um, Fuck. Yeah, so that was that was one very interesting part of RTX. Um, also, was the uh, I did not realize how big Five Nights at Freddy's. It was. is huge. Uh, you know, my husband's like younger steps and flings. Um, they're really into it, but they're like, you know, like, what, 10, 12? Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, okay, so, and, you know, some of my kids at, at school are super into it. It's really cool. Is it? Yeah, you have oh, to. Oh, it totally yeah, is. You have to climb up and avoid the little dot things. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyways, so, like, you know, and I, I did not realize, like, how massive the following for that was, you know? And I was just like, huh. Because I, I, I don't really enjoy the Five Nights at Freddy's games. Um, I do think they're they're fun, like, sure. I'm sure they're, like, a good... Like, Not work. a huge horror uh, you game guy. Even if, okay, maybe not. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I like horror. I love anything horror. I'm watching Dear Mobile Toros The Strain right now, and I'm like... Are you oh, kidding me? Yes. It's, Fucking it's really? Great. Yeah. Um, anyways... <laughs> While I watch my husband uh, struggle through this. This is horror. This is funny. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, oh it's like it's... those Mario speed runs where, like, even if you fuck up, like, once, you're just like, shit. Those people are nuts. Oh, yeah, those people are like, you know, I bet I bet they would love this game. I bet this game has, like, oh, I, I wonder. I would want to watch one of them do a speed run in this game. I would, I would believe that. Oh, that's cool. Please don't hit me. It's like a clock. Pew, 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 pew. pew. I'm over a minute. I don't think I'm getting... I mean, this one's pretty hard. Like, I don't know where the... But, at, you know, at least... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Complete it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, goodness oh, me. Jesus Christ. Hey, I did it. Oh, wow. Oh, let's see what let's grade I get. Oh, That's a B. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I was 67 milliseconds away from an A. Oh, wow. I was really good. Sorry. I'm really... That's okay. How many have? Three more. Yeah. Anyways, so... RTX was fun. No, RTX was really fun. I, You know what I've decided is that I really oh. enjoy cons. I really, I really do. Like. Me too. Um, I just, you know, I enjoy the community at them. They're just really fun. Of the uh, turrets volume. So you have to yeah, as soon as I... And then as soon as I pass one of the lines, they that's when they activate and they're like, oh, shooter. Yeah, so you want to pass the line and then drop down or something. Oh, man. Die. That also works. I'm really good at the dying <laughs> thing. The dying thing seems to be operating quite well for you. They can look. Hey! Oh, hey. No! <laughs> <laughs> Final! That was beautiful. See? That was I'll take it. That was awesome. Be -doo -doo. No, um, yeah. Oh, no God. No weapon, no dash, no shield. What? What? You just get to bounce on the things. Oh, my goodness. Why are they evil? Because evil genius is still genius. Good point. <laughs> I don't know, because my husband's like concentrating. I feel like I'm really carrying this for him. 
you, you kind of are. He complains all the time that like his like co-stars, um, you know, like that they don't talk enough or say anything funny. Not um, Sean. Sean. Sean's, Sean's hilarious. Sean, if you're listening to this, I don't know if you actually do watch the videos, but I don't. Sean don't is watch. pretty damn good. I mean, it's probably the only ins- yeah. exciting thing he's ever done in his entire life. Everyone else, like, you know who you are. Yeah, but you know, like, and, and so, I'm like, just gonna I, whittle these away one by one. <laughs> Um, but you know, like, so he's always talking about how his, like, compatriots don't speak enough. And that's compatriots as in friends, not patriots as in Cummy. Tom Brady. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just, I'm talking, I'm just bashing him at this point. I've also been forbidden from telling racist jokes because then YouTube would kick us off the channel. Yeah, we, we can, we can cuss, but there's only so many Yeah, things. I mean, and, and don't, don't even get me wrong. Like, oh. I'm like, I don't, oh I don't tell racist jokes that often. Fairly often. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty often. I, I tell dirty jokes more often than racist ones. Like, you know, my mother's the racist one. And then, you know, like occasionally, like sometimes that just comes out because, you know, I was raised by <sighs> Oh, you got a C. I'll take a C. Yeah, a C is pretty bad. That's what you need to pass to keep going to open all the things. So then you can come back and get A's later. Okay, last Let's one on this thing. Zero dimension torture is no shield. Just no shield. Okay. Oh, get away from me, Pixel. Oh, he can <laughs> go through it. He can go through it. Oh yeah, and he does because he's following you, so he's gonna aim straight up at you. Yeah. I'm also like really close to the mic, so I get the feeling that my, uh, my voice is going to be a lot louder than um, Taylor's. Well, like, that mic's gain is down. Oh, okay, good. Because it picks up more. And this one's up because it's tiny and away from me. Yeah, I got, or my, my um, parents got him a nice <laughs> Parents? My parents, which is AKA, uh, they, they asked me to get him something and put their name on the card, uh, which I did. Uh, so, um,. Because that's how my family does gift, gift give, giving, is they're like, um, why don't you go get him something nice and just, just put... Okay, okay, after the initial part, yeah, that wasn't about... Yeah, after that, like, weird thing. What? Oh, Fuck <laughs> you. I have to do this again? You have to again. You have to get through that thing again. Uh, okay. It's that first part. It's that first part. After that, it's kind of easy. Yeah. Okay, go. Uh, yeah, so yeah, now we have two mics. Well, technically, we have three mics yeah, with a headset I also, mic. I also got him some uh, a really nice set of earphones, and they're in yellow and gold because he's a Hufflepuff. Because apparently I can't get rid of this yeah, color. My high school, school colors, colors were yellow and gold. Colors, uh, the, our apartment complex has just yep. red and gold. Like, yellow and gold, that's their flag. We don't know why. Um, why. I don't know why our apartment complex is a lot of things. I don't know. I don't even bother um, to pretend to know. Yeah, it's just kind of a silly thing. Come on. It's got to be at least a B. Yes! Yeah, a B. yeah, look, check that out. It's From D to a B. That first part is really hard. That first part sucks. Hey, we will do that next time. Yep, I think that's. I think that's good. Tonight. Yeah. yeah. So I know our roommate probably wants to go to bed. We <laughs> probably listen to us talk anymore. So that, this is Castle Force. So hopefully, uh, go buy it. You like it? Go buy it. Support them. Uh, draw some cool fan art for them. I'm sure they would love that. And penises, you know, penises everywhere. Uh, no, you don't have to draw penises. Um, you, you don't know, have it's to. Weird that my husband is so obsessed with penises. Thank you.